Hello everyone, my name is Evelyn Lindner. I'm the founding president of the Human Dignity and Humiliation Studies Network and one of the initiators of the World Dignity University Initiative. I would like to explain to you now what I would like to contribute to the World Dignity University Initiative, what are my topics, my themes. I would like to con uh, begin with my introduction. It's an introductory lecture that I give all around the world and it has changed over the years, obviously. Uh, there are two uh, lectures videotaped on this, uh, our website. Uh, they were taped in 2009 and 2011 at the University in Oslo. It's two hours each. So if you watch this, um, these two hours, you will have an introduction in my research and my work. And I have written um, a paper um, and I would like to read the uh, abstract very quickly to you. This is a concise summary. Um, my lecture is, is usually uh, titled Dignity or Humiliation, the World at a Crossroad. And I have written uh, this, this uh, paper. It, it is called In Times of Globalization and Human Rights, Does Humiliation Become the Most Disruptive Force? And you find this, the full text of this paper on our website. It's the first article ever published in the Journal of Human Dignity and Humiliation Studies in 2007. The abstract goes as follows. This article is about humiliation, globalization, human rights and dignity. The central question is the following. Could it be the case in a globalizing world in which people are increasingly exposed to human rights advocacy that acts of humiliation and feelings of humiliation emerge as the most significant phenomena to resolve? This paper suggests that this is the case. It claims that all humans share a common ground, namely a yearning for recognition and respect that connects them and draws them into relationships. The paper argues that many, many of the observable risks among people may stem from the humiliation that is felt when recognition and respect are lacking. The article proposes that only if the human desire for respect is cherished, respected and nurtured, and if people are attributed equal dignity in this process, can differences turn into valuable di diversities and sources of enrichment, both globally and locally, instead of sources of disruption. So I would like to uh, invite you to uh, w watch the two hours introductory lecture two of them on the website and then indicate to me whether would you would like to have an online course or seminar that is into you know expanding on this introduction and as soon as uh, I have about 10 students from all around around the world who have clicked on this video now and showed their interest we will then together make the next step and develop a course a seminar together that is both face-to-face -face and online I am very, very glad and happy about your interest and um, I would like to invite you to join hands in together co-creating a world, a decent world, a world where we all can live dignified worlds. Thank you very much.